Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old Blues. I'm your host, Mr. MacArthur, Enclave Lover, but service to the cause. People Montana, the Enclave needs you. Not your hopes, your resources, or your lands. It needs you personally and you need it. The Department of the Interior Labor is even now to restore the heartland, but that mighty project needs new workers. To that end, Ellen Santiago has been authorized to conscript hundreds of our citizens, nation citizens, to take part in the reclamation. Those who go east will receive rations, health care, and wages, plus a land grant at the end of their service. Do not weep for those who go. Rejoice at the future which they will help build in Iowa. So if we do this, it costs a lot of manpower, but what if we did this real quick? Um, this is a lot of manpower. I go quietly and then get rid of that, and we're back. Ish. But we're currently doing The Light of a Civilization, and then we'll do Prometheus Battle like we read the last time. Ooh, on our Western Wardens. Yeah, let's do Western Wardens first, why not? Because we can. Because we also read that one last time, too. Our colleague, a little help from my friends. Uh, refugee machine shops expand the dam. I'll do this one. Say what you will about the Brotherhood's levies. They did manage to restore that dam once powered Great Falls. With superior American engineering, we could continue the work. But right now, we do have the uh, followers of the apocalypse. There's not much we can really do about them. Divert the followers' supplies. Through some bribes and threats, we can obtain a small portion of the followers' stockpiles, allowing them to be used by our army. So, oh, when we select it, we lose 5% stability. Well, this one, through some political web weaving, we can try and improve our relations, which we don't want. Um, we can escort the caravans, uh, often loaded with supplies and technology, making them an excellent target for any local raider gangs. By offering them to protect them, we can surely improve relations with them, which we don't want. Grant the followers bases. The followers need bases of operation which they can distribute supplies and attend to the wounded. Providing some to them for free will help improve our standing with them and maybe even mitigate some previous disagreements, which we don't want, so... I guess we'll do this one. We're gonna keep killing our stability off. Oh. Oh, we need more caps. Oh. Well, I guess we're not doing that one right now. I'll expand the dam. My bad. My bad, y'all. So, we really want them not here. The followers are slowly spreading through our nation. For long, they may have become too firmly rooted for us to dislodge. Well, how do we get rid of them, then? Request alone? Well, we have no money. 40,000, is that it? So, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, as we are slowly trying to get more political power, so we can core more territory. As you can see on screen, we've cored some of this territory, which is pretty nice overall. Uh, but we can still core more. Naval stuff, this has not been updated yet, but that's okay. You know, things will get updated eventually. The devs are hard at work. We're going to make sure that we have the best experience possible. Yeah. Placating them. Nah, we're good. We are more than fine not placating them, but at least we have over 50% stability still, but resource-wise, we're, we're hurting a little bit. Not a tremendous amount, but we're still hurting a little bit. So the next place we want to core. There's almost nothing there. Literally nothing there. Just a few people. Uh, probably this one. Just because it has water and scrap, and then we could honestly use both. We could use more scrap. We're good on water, though. Bring these. Yes, bound. Anything else here we really care about? Nope. It's about with us. No resources there. Any resources here? Yeah, there's six scrap. We'll core this one next. This one costs 40 political power, which is pretty decent, I'd say. Colleague, Prometheus Bound. Modicum's plan. Ooh, more civvies would be good, too. Ooh, more research speed. Go east, young man. Ooh, they miss you. People, Montana, we've heard your questions. Why well, have so few uh, letters come back from the east? Well, what happened to the refugees? We settled there. Well, don't you worry, my fellow Americans. They're safe and sound, happy even, with plenty of Nuka-Cola, clean water, and baseball. But there's something terrible. Uh-oh. The brother to steal destroys his mail deliveries. That's right, not content to strive to bring us back into the Dark Ages. Those tin can boys, scouts, want to keep us adrift and isolated. Every day, the valiant enclave fights for the wickedness, their wickedness, against their wickedness. But we are even we are fallible. So you see, if you don't hear from any of your loved ones who went east, it's because of the Brotherhood, and only by working together will we achieve the final victory and re reunite you with your loved ones. You'll be together one day. Tiki bar. Ooh. Mason Salvatore again slipping and drained, dripping. Well, that doesn't help since he's gone now. Whoops. First family investments. Um, how did this one? I kind of want to do the same plasma Washington needs, but we don't need that immediately. That'd be nice, but there's not much we can do with it. Let's get some civvies. Markham's plan. Markham hopes you steal down and introduce some Chicago's efficiency to the West. She's asked permission to run several workshops by algorithms and data, taking human bias out of the equation, just like Chicago, in a way. Who can complain? I know I can. I can always find a way to complain, apparently. Enemy agent turn. Ooh. Keep killing our stability. At long last, our ancient our scientists have discovered the secrets of the Hephaestus project. Oh yes, 
Chicago could probably divert the energy back to them or buy a resource for the war against the Midwest Brotherhood, but Rodriguez would argue that energy serves a valuable role in the further region and could further industrial development in this scenario. We might still send resources to Chicago, but it would be processed uranium, coal into the riches pulled from the mountains. And then there's Maria, the colonel's daughter. Uh, Maria proposes we share the power of the people. People power? A novel idea might at least gain us support among the locals, but it'll certainly anger the Secretary of the Interior. Can we truly risk that? Chicago needs this to fight the Brotherhood. Ooh, t 51 b hardened power armor. Winchester plasma rifles. We need this We need this to beat the Brotherhood. 25 from Hephaestus. Ooh. Must share with our fellow Americans. 5% reduction to research speed as Chicago withdraws support. Interesting. First families can use this energy. A little bit less stability, more political power. Chicago needs us. Colonel. Henry Anderson. Well, I like that. We always need more power armor, too. Bonus and research speed. I like the political power because it means just core more stuff. First families can use it. Uh, withdraw support. We get more political power and manpower. Manpower would be nice. But that power armor is so good. Uh, I don't mind getting energy for ourselves because then eventually we can just trade that away too. But we lose 15% stability, so I don't I don't want that. We've already lost a lot of stability, so let's go with no stability loss. Political power up. Oh, manpower. Uh, get a research bonus. or really lose a research bonus. I kind of want to try this one out. But Chicago needs it. Chicago needs it. Ah! We're really part of the enclave here. It's not the best power armor we could use, but it's good. So now we're back here. Cross feed the hun hungry the country. I don't want to lose any more energy. We'll keep losing a little more water. This will be it. And we're building up Missoula too. Can we expand this? Yes, we can. Power node. Promote node. Basic tools, good. A little bit ahead of time for us. I really want to do that one. Battle for Hoover Dam, nice. Excellent. Excellente. It's not a very good node, but you know, it's still one of ours. Also, I changed these things around just a little bit because I don't want to use Santiago or whoever it is. Just because she just can't have that much, so. Our colleague. Not all the research from the big rig was lost. The Secretary of the Interior sent a soldier modified based on the research used on Frank Horrigan, the engineer for America's enemies. Nice. Where's 50 caps? Okay. Well, maybe we can do this one again. And not screw it up, maybe. Maybe. Better fighters are nice, yeah. Looking decent. Don't need more power armor, but what else is new? We need some more fighter planes, too. Um, honestly, we're probably not going to be using robots, so goodbye, robots. You know, they wouldn't be bad for resistance, but that takes quite a bit. Um, over here, triplane attackers. We're not going to obviously use them yet, but whatever. 40, huh? Well, we're very close. <laughs> we only get 1.19 every single day, but whatever. And... There you go. Hit and run. I love hit and run. I do it my real, in my own personal life, too. Uh, Western weirdos. Wardens. Oh, we can do Steel Town immediately. Under the Enclave's rule, Great Falls has turned from a brotherhood of steelwork camp into a thriving hub of commerce. The nickname Steel Town reflects not just its origin, but its new hub is the heart of MacArthur's economy. Old world city type. Changes Steel Town, Great Falls. Three cities, two infrastructure. That's pretty good. Refugee machine shops? Many of those will be free for the Brotherhood to pick up some useful skills working for the Brotherhood. We can give them their old equipment to open up the uh, workshops in the Great Falls. Let it never be said that the Matriarch is a monster. Rather, than risk the lives of good people in Montana, she found some ghouls who will gladly fly and, and hopefully die for you. Some would say ghouls are a threat that must be eradicated, but is it not better to turn these poor, inhuman, doomed creatures into our friends after all? If someone has to shoot them, it's cheaper if it's our enemies. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Oh. Would you look at that? First PMC, huh? Oh, got an empty tank. Nice. Goodbye. Steel Town, local self defense. I'm not sure which way we want to go. Re re regulated militia. But we get. Oh, the Wings of Liberty. I might feel like we're going to go down that route. Prioritize historians. Patronism. Since the historians fled at MacArthur, they found a welcome role in our ranks. Perhaps it's time to give them a, uh, even greater support, knowing our past never harmed anybody. Lions in the winter. Ooh. A ghoul who fought for America may not look favorable on the Enclave. Lines of winter. 
Not everyone in the North wishes to rule through firepower of the ancient ways. It seems that this old country has a few heroes left. After all, rather than work solely with wardens, let me tell you of American, of an American, who's been fighting since the Great War for truth, justice, and the American way, even if his skin is falling off. Sure, why not? We'll read about that one too. Hey, okay, we, we finally rejected them. That took three tries to do that. Jesus Christ, that took so long. That took so freaking long. What do we have? Hey! Nice. Steel Town! This repeats itself. Uh, since we have this already available, let's just do this one. Anyways. Just keep cranking it out. Alright, so now we're over here. And doing this would give us more special forces. So, And that's obviously what we want. I love power armor. I'm a slut for power armor. Especially Enclave power armor. Oh my god. So we're going to do this one next. Bring me men to match my mountains. To fulfill the direction of the security of the interior, uh, we need heroes. Men with empires, empires in their uh, purpose and new areas in their brains. Men obtain their tigerish instincts of the lair and cave and den. Steel Town Blues. To many in Montana. Steel Town is hope for better tomorrow. A dream that one day Americans might enjoy the standards of living their ancestors had in the 2070s, but to others, it's a lie. Steel Town relies on refugee labor and their demands have gone unmet for far too long. Heavy machinery crushes worker limbs. Production quotas and low salaries lead to tired, hungry workers. People who dreamed of a better life for the Georgian Markham's plans for Steel Town to be alive, and along the last, they've risen up. Quote Saline Crow, leader of the strikers. No more 16 hour shifts, no more locking us in the factory so we can't see your family. Most importantly, Markham, no more you. We're done paying you for pee breaks and metal meal breaks. If you don't go, we don't work. Ellen Santiago dispatched Team October to handle the situation, but how will they do so? Favor and Markham, who runs? Montana's economy may be the easy choice, but don't the people of Montana deserve a square meal and fair wage? More importantly, it won't crush the workers' damage to Steel Town's factories while alienating a large group that may one day prove useful. Markham built Steel Town and she'll build Royal Villa, Montana. Steel Town received a lot of damage. Looks like Markham gave Team October a reward. The Atom Smasher. But I'm not even using her. The refugees are people too. Retire Abigail Markham. Do I want to retire her? Do we want to? Well. I don't really want to get rid of her yet. I don't think she's done your two shell. Looks like she deserves it over a reward, if you ask me personally. But yeah, I just I don't like using her just because she's good. But like, she's a lone wolf, and you it can't you basically can't get rid of lone wolf. It's so like sucks, and I chose the one that's inspirational instead of the other one that expands her ranks. So I really don't want to use her, just, even though she's really good. It's just she's so small. Her, her unit size is so small. Maybe we'll use her later if we get enough divisions, but like, for me personally, just too small. Ah. And all the travels across the north for heroes of another story. Team October never found a group which warmed their hearts the way that Lionheart did. They said old soldiers never died, and here up north, that may well be true. Harris had only a few foggy stories to tell of the pre-war era, a time that fell from the memory. His memory, save for bits and pieces, what was the Nuka world? What was Camp Turtle Dove? And why, given all its achievements, was he so skeptical of the Enclave? They have fought together once at the Everest Hotel, my cannibal outpost that held dominion <clears throat> uh, over hundreds of people. And while most of the stories about the relationships were false, none could deny that Elena learned a thing or two. One day, old friends, I may ask of you a favor. More on my feet, look at that. It pays your friends out in the wasteland. Nomen, Nesio. Things can only go on for so long. People start to wonder, new rumors have filtered west. They come from the Lakota scouts, River League traders, and enclave officers who've had a few too many drinks. In the bars of Montana, people whisper of enclave experiments with FEV. They tell factories where workers never see the light of day, building war machines and luxuries for men and women pursuing a great game. And they mutter that the beautiful handful of letters sent west are always devoid of personal details. More and more people are asking, silently, just what is happening, and what is the enclave plan for Montana? Will we build America the way it is meant to be? Of course. If we don't, then who are we? Ah, we're very close. My nipples are hard. Anyways, you don't need to know about that. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh crap. Uh, I don't want to lose more stability for now. Our stability is already very, 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 very incredibly low. How are we doing with this? We're still going, which is good. Uh, we don't have very much here, so I'm not concerned about that too much. We'll grab that. Frontline platoons, why not? Alright, what else can we build up here? Here, you can do that, and then you can do this one down here. Got a lot of roads to build, too, though. And we'll build them all up eventually. We'll run out of things to build someday. But today's obviously not that day. Of course, more resources would be nice as well, but whatever. Uh, new citizens' care package wouldn't be bad. We have 87 political power. We can slowly start getting ready to core. Uh, what was the other territory? Uh, there. 
Nice. So down here, it'd be more prudent to start coring stuff down here probably, but we're not there quite yet, so let's just start coring whatever we can. Uh, 42. Honestly, this might be a waste of political power, but our colleague. A little help for my friends. The secretary's charming smile looked down at the colonel, who stood at attention as always. Really now, colonel? Always uptight. Please. The special agent is uh, not intended to be a sign of disrespect. On the contrary, he's the finest soldier in decades. The pinnacle of science, science. Uh, a man that would know or one would doubt. Or seeing another battalion with them, of course. Think of it as a sign of their faith in you, really. With Special Agent Johnson, it'll be as if I'm right by your side forever. God bless the Enclave. Ooh. Two rapid response units. Ooh. Two more divisions. Aw, oh, yeah. And we can go... Oh, thank... I love the devs. Thank you for letting us actually be able to, like, change the size of these guys. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, that's so, that's so much better. Thank you, devs. I hate it when some devs... And not, not, not obviously... Oh, actually, we we'll probably could use that. Um... Like, don't, don't let you change unit size and whatnot, which infuriates me sometimes, because like, oh, well, we are so close, come on. Why not? Why not? So, 41 is fine. Honestly, we could probably go to the war with the next group, too, if we really wanted to. Auxiliaries, part of standardization, resource. Eh, we're going to probably need to build some of these eventually. Keep building ourselves up, though. It's always good. So after this one, yeah, I don't know. Liberate Nev Havra. First family investment. Sadly, the Brotherhood's occupation destroyed much of Missoula's leadership. If we want to restore the pro town's prosperity, it might be best to encourage the Fetter's families to help. Salvatore Stinky Bar. Seems that Salvatore wants to open yet another bar. This one is inspired by an old pre war Hawaiian establishment. Though a silly idea, he hopes to turn into the anchor of a new market for the region. Who are we to stand in the way of progress? The resources of the Northern Commonwealth could turn the tide in the heartland and give the Enclave a chance to crush the Brotherhood once and for all, but alas, too few Americans are uh, left to satisfy every front nowadays. Elena Santiago's demands call for new sacrifices from everybody in the MacArthur, and there are three proposals to meet the Secretary's orders. <clears throat> the easiest solution would be to appeal to the Chicago for further assistance, in exchange for accelerating resource extraction in the North. We could also work with the First Families in the rest of the region's elite and rely upon their involvement, although these would not be as powerful as the United States Army, they could supplement our ranks in additional battalions. Finally, we can recruit the refugees and wastelanders, opening the doors to widespread recruitment. We're called for professionals. Advanced power armor, 30 more? Ooh, my god. You lose 5 energy and 5 more metal going forward? Trust the families and the marshals. Non core manpower goes down. More recruitable population? Ooh. More political power. Every man can carry a rifle is welcome to one. 5% more? Oh my god, that looks good. I have a feeling I'm going to go this direction, awaiting new orders. So is this ruler, like, uh... I kind of want to go down this direction, to be honest. One at a time. The Darn Dakotas. Montana. Inform Chicago the Pacific success. Midwestern man, like we saw last time. This looks really... This all looks so good, though. Pacific proxy. Cleanse of filth. Utah incursion. Oh my god. I think we might come do job of professionals. Arr! The Long Night. Alaska Command. Liberty's Country. Oh, I might have just do Wings of Liberty. Oh, we might just do that one. Oh my god. But, anyways, refugee machine shops. Many of, the, of those we freed from the Brotherhood picked up some useful skills working for the Brotherhood. And gave them their equipment to work uh, open shops, workshops in Great Falls. Great Falls University. Although Montana centers of higher learning did not survive the Great War, uh, the Brotherhood facilities gave us a chance to start something of a value in Great Falls. And sure no harm will come from concentrating the most educated people in the state of one location. With our control is secure, we can now fully equip our soldiers with plasma weapons. Did you know that the Founding Fathers used such weapons to kill George III? Well, now you do! And support the Brotherhood's enemies. People of Montana, we're all aware that well, all that stands between you and the destruction of a great state. Do you want mutants occupying your homes? Your children conscripted into their the cults? Your wife, husband, sent to a penal battalion to mine for uranium? Of course not. That's why we are here to help. And also, I'm not sure whether we can do this one or not. I kind of want to, but if we have to, we'll do defend against the Brotherhood. But although we're not yet ready to face Sentinel Honor and their filth directly, we'll never stop fighting for the American people. Team October's got a plan versus defend against the Brotherhood. We stand now at the precipice. 
The brother of steel and their arrogance will seek to replace your safety and freedom under the enclave of tyranny and oppression. Let them come. Wave upon traitorous wave will crash upon MacArthur's walls. The brotherhood of steel will fa fail and fall. God bless the enclave. God bless America. Their taxes. Many of those who flee to MacArthur's oasis of stability find themselves in a desperate predicament. Bereft of anything other than the clothes on their back, they turn to the first families of the enclave for support. Each has its complications. First families often extend loans to their new workers, but the refugees find them nigh impossible to pay off. The enclave is happy to support all Montana citizens in exchange for a 20-year stint in the Conservation Corps. Needless to say, many work for the families, which is how the latest issue arose. Some indentured refugees absconded from their uh, supervisor with the funds he loaned and hit it big at Little Reno. They had one use that money to pay out their debt and escape early, but their supervisor claimed that the refugees received a loan contingent upon working for him for seven years and they cannot pay it back. Team October were the first on the scene of the dispute. What should they do? Confiscate their winnings and assure no witnesses? Let them pay out their contract with all their winnings? The refugee agree to work. They cannot rescind their agreement. Hmm. Let them pay out the contract. Let them pay them all. Because we can, as we're doing a lot of things still here. Um, we're doing a lot of focuses. Just kind of waiting for the next war to really begin. Like, we read all these a little bit earlier. Shield of Manny is always very good. I bought Reliance. Huh. Not bad. And we read through these last time, too. Uh, I'll go and do that one, too. Why not? Cause, because you can. Because we can. Because why not? We'll go, of course, like I said earlier, we'll do Salvador's Tiki Bar, Patronized Historians, Refugee Machine Shops, Great Falls University, and I think I have to. Oh, we gotta do the Wings of Liberty. Without help from Chicago, uh, we can never command the skies over the north. How grateful uh, must the poor wastelanders we protect uh, uh, for their guidance? Stand still and stay silent. More vertebrates or gunships? Oh, yes, please. Rick Havrick. Or Liberate Havre. Yeah, it was that one. The people of Havre chafe under an unjust oligarchic government which leaves them prey to raiders. You must go forth and free them. Ask what you can do for your country. Hungry nation? Uh, I really don't want to lose energy because we are not looking great with energy cells. Water? Well, we might as well just lose some water instead. Stand still and stay silent for too long. The people of Montana were governed with a slack leash. For too long, they took advantage of Ellen Santiago's compassion and failed to contribute to the great work. We brought order, merely asked for compliance. We provided security, merely asked for acceptance, and instead we were spurned. This ends now. Relying as they were on Chicago's law guests, it's time for Montana to pay up. And so the Secretary of the Interior has run the numbers, and it's time for a change. The people of Montana want the Enclave's protection, and certain changes are in order. For their own good, God bless the Enclave. Salute to the fallen heroes. The Commonwealth Rooms will gain 1,000 guns. America's not yet lost. Ooh, Granny Blast joins us. It's a fixer-upper. Saving Spokane. Well, a phone from home. As part of the new campaign of bullets from morale and Enclave territories, are more likely to keep the tabs on us. The Secretary is having a publicized call with the Colonel. It's not likely to earn him any favors with us, since it's a lot of blowharding, but it gives the colonel some temporary influence with others. So, that's pretty good overall. Um, I'm trying to save some more money, and we are going to go to war these guys next. Uh, so we're going to liberate them. Yes, liberate them, my friends. Liberate them. Because, my God, do they need to be liberated. Guys, we're going to be a bunch of melee hackers, you know? More tech, yes, please. Um, so you are not all of that. You need to ha be pain trained. Just go and do pain trained. Thank you very much. Liberate, liberate, liberate. Well, my friends, I think it's time to liberate. Ooh. Bunch of fighters. We do that. A little bit more cast. Ooh. Say it so. Let's let let's let this one deploy first, and then go in. Let's see how well we do. Actually, you uh, kind of wanted to convert those infantry divisions immediately. To just power armor, but we don't have that would exceed your cap, that would kind of suck. But we should do okay. Overall. Should not run into too many issues around here as long as we have a generic attack. Beautiful so far. We have some comms to go through too, but you know, we're doing okay so far. Not perfect by any means, but we're doing okay. Uh, let's go and do this one. More breakthrough, soft stack, hard attack, good stuff like that. Non discriminatory targeting, which gives them more breakthrough and soft attack. Hurts the recruit population fact, which sucks. Uh, really hurts compliance growth speed, but damage to garrison goes down. And we have airborne assault snacks, which is not bad. What if we got rid of these two so we can convert the rest of the infantry over? Well, we might just be able to. Beautiful. Raise wasteland intelligence budget. Uh, that'd be pretty good to do as well. We need more money, though. Uh, protect American resources. Add self sufficient economy or society. Interesting. <coughs> Purge native advisors and sympathizers. Oh boy. Closing ranks. If you're outside of the group, you're all already set to the last Americans to gain political power. To the last Americans. 
Last citizens. Last Americans. So you get a political power instead. That was pretty good. Oh, we could. Consumer goods factors get really hit hard. What do the people of MacArthur need with their ample water, lumber, and foodstuffs? Hard times are necessary to finish Chicago's re reconstruction. Nice. We lost eight versus nearly 2,000, which is just still too much. Beautiful. Excuse me, patriotism? Probably not. But that's okay with us. Uh, equipment we'll probably never use. Delicious. Do that, it's fine. Whatever. Uh, who's next? It's a fixer upper. Oh! Oh, it's a fixer upper. Look at all those towns of Havre. Where once there was ruin and decay, now there's progress. Where once there was oppression, now there's good government. Well, liberty, well, then in time, perhaps. We get 13 free cores. Nice. Ooh, I kind of want to beat up the nomads. We've got a nice rate of detection. It's good. Uh, fine. You can have the energy, but that's going to... Oh, we're okay. It's fine for now, I guess, if we have to. Use you guys to help suppress these people. Or get ready to liberate them. That's right. Soon because it's about ready to die here. Oh, good lord. <coughs> Steel town, huh? So you can meet up if you learn about that, please go right ahead. Nice. More extraction, yes. Mm. It's a fixer upper. Same as Spokane, closing ranks. The United States is not a soup kitchen. Gain no free lunches. Last ditch reinforcements. Emergency shipments. Ooh. That's interesting. How about a salute to the fallen heroes? Well, of course, view. Uh, Jack Johnson is an abomination who threatens a waste, and we must salute the poor monstrosities' attempt to keep the Canadians or Canadarians in line. So let us aid that dear fellow keeping up the fight for America's he's no longer welcome in. Oh. Less defense, more efficiency. Organizational damage would be nice. A lot to do. Yeah, that definitely hurt us. Oof. Expense more. And we do have a cup of tea here, too. Nice and really warm and toasty. There's a fixer upper. Less than a thousand manpower. I wonder how much higher it's going to go. Festering rot. The Raj Purgers failed in their missions, and we must weep. Although they were mutants, their attempts to purge ghouls from the waste centers are replaced at honor of our table. Perhaps one of them can join Team October? Granny Blast. We're blasting grannies here. You, me, and blasting some grannies. What could be better than that? Vision 3. Mm, goodbye. Enclave Auxiliaries? Well, ugh, I don't really want to use them. We'll keep them for now. Militia. Robots. Yeah. Tax breaks for factories? It's okay. How much money are we making right now? 30, huh? Yeah. Self-sufficient. Oh, I guess we can go back and focus on scavenging. I guess it does make us more money, but I honestly prefer a well-kept army. We could go that way. But for, oh, military and civil construction speed. Oh, good God, that's terrible. So let's go close ranks first. Uh, letting a mutant serve the Enclave might pass ranks on the frontier, but that's sort of he heredoxy. Her heredoxy is why MacArthur got in the mess. Go for only real Americans could serve, and we, of course, know who's a real American. Hey, look at that manpower. Better. It's a little better now. A few more factories, maybe. Uh, resource wise, we're looking. Okay, I'm feeling better about this. Persian native advisors and sympathizers. We need locals with the prejudices, biases, and deformities. Devices on work quotas, obviously not. We can take it from here. Nice. Who's next? Can we just go to war with people? We mentioned the long night, the pack of hyenas. Yeah, what definitely do you want to do that one? And this one. The United States is not a soup kitchen. Too long, Montana's are relied upon the government for a handout. It's high time the people of this great prosperous land are paying Chicago for what we've done for them. Last ditch reinforcements. So the trouble Montana's getting out of hand, Colonel. We're sending some more men to assist and keep an eye on any unruly provocateurs. Emergency shipments. In light of the increased tensions, the Department of the Interior is sending additional assistance. 
It's really good of the Montana, Colonel, and, well, all in the night. Colonel, we're getting odd reports. It seems like the detachment from Chicago are coming over to your office. Some of the comments include, Enclave time, let us help the wasteland and restore America. Someone says, God bless the Enclave, God bless America. Someone says, I swear I was playing MacArthur like two days ago, and I'm sad they don't have much to them. Someone says, uh, pretty sure a bunch of events of the focus tree are related to Wasteland 3. And someone says, Old Rebels got updated? Epic. The Treaty of Port Ar Fort MacArthur. Chapa Wagner sent a delegate with the most unusual proposal. Our shipments to Chicago have long been harassed traveling through the Dakotas, hindering MacArthur's contribution to national reconstruction. And there's some vile minerals in the under the lands that rule. Should we go forth with this agreement? The only real downside will be the Sioux will become more powerful, but that'll just be a problem for the riffraff between us and the Heartland. We're getting resource rights providing us with metal and water, we agreed to this. So, excellent idea. Standing Rock. Give the MacArthur detachment the rights of at least all resources in Bullhead. When they shoot us next, Custer's Legacy. Standing Rock. Let's go with that one for now, just to see what might happen. Um, sounds like we might eventually go to war with them. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know if we get all the way over there, perhaps. More breakthroughs are always good, though. Almost a thousand foot of power. Only get 30 a month, which sucks. So, your level. F uh, where is it? Where's that node? Just. Oh, it's up right here. I uh, need to promote it more. There we go. And I can't believe we weren't using that earlier. Promote. Yes. More than enough political power to do so. That's where we're spending all our money, money, our money on, our money on. Very nice. Eventually, we probably want to save Spokane. Oh, look at this! Oh, we're going to militia to protect the North. Team October is hit up the ingenious city up, relying, relying more and more on the local auxiliaries and locals. Um, although less equipped than Team October, the Enclave proper, these wastelanders under the guidance of the first families were willing to find die for their homes and freedoms. That's really good. Some of MacArthur's senior leadership fear that this will cause trouble down the line, for who knows where else the locals could turn their guns. But the Secretary of the Interior performed a rigorous cost benefit analysis, and the math is clear. It's far cheaper for Chicago to lose a dozen wastelanders than one American private, and so let us salute the first battalions of our new National Guard. God bless Mon Montana? Why not? At long last, the gold thread is cleansed, and we've saved the rock, pur rock purger's lands. It's one of the few places where we agree as liberators a sign of wisdom. You know, one could argue that our isolated location means they're less mutated than the rest of the wasteland. Totally. Chair Force, for all we mock the Air Force's reliance on doctrine and comfortable barracks, our air superiority is nothing to joke about. Basic training. I am the past, the spirit of the warriors who made the final sacrifice, and I'm the present. The scar and apprentice and soldier enhancing my skills in the science of warfare and uh, art of leadership. But above all, I'm the future. U.S. Army Cadet Handbook 2075, and I bought reliance. For 40 caps, you'll gain an ability in selected non core states to improve compliance, because the eyeballs are. Uh, Panopticon, that sounds sent, you see. Oh! Secure the vast wastes of the north. We need robotic little hoppers. Chicago's glad to provide them at a cost, of a course. A pack of hyenas. The twinge of plasma bolt fired out on the night as a colonel and those closest to her were killed by Special Agent Johnson. Few MacArthur's territory realized what happened until the next morning, so tight was the uncle grip on the base nowadays until Special Agent Johnson came on the radio. There could be some changes, Montana. Quotas, construction projects, taxes, labor contributions, rasp the agent, all these fell behind. There's much for you to make up for, and much you will. If Montana has a hope now, it lies with the Team October. Elden and Ernie have risen up with the support of some of the first families to save their home. But what but what hope does a plunky, plucky band of rebels have against the full might of the Enclave? And the mother of Montana, well, what does a mutey sympathizer need to be on unmarked grave in the snow? God bless the Enclave. We'll become the Enclave. Beautiful. Absolutely that beautiful Montana Enclave. I love it. Twice in two lifetimes. Who cares about them? Yeah, max out the growth there. Nice. Just the Enclave way. We gotta focus on these guys next to you. Look at that manpower, too. Oh, we changed our flag. That's different. Oh, look at Oh, my God. Special Agent Johnson signed me up. Oh, we're awaiting new orders. So I'm to make Montana uh, pay its way. And pursue the first of Chicago's three goals. You and Soldier Zerus, the Colonel, foolishly let Wastelander scum through the Enclave to convince it was better for them to risk their lives than their own men. But it now looks like a treachery. I have disposed of her. Most of the troops refused our efforts to disarm them and instead took to the mountains. Joined the colonel's rebellious little girl. But you know how to handle the traitors, hmm? In much way I handled so many brotherhoods come. I regret they have but one life to take for my country. Missoula loss. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, is that, is that it? Well, so be it. Uh... 
Not too bad. We invested so much in Santiago, but oh well. We got Special Agent Johnson here. He's an inspirational guy. He got some power armor himself. Uh, I'll save for maybe some train treats, probably. Yes? Yes, no? Ah, oh, I can't wait for new orders yet. Ah, uh, so be it. A second set of skin. Power armor change in nature of modern warfare and still dominance in today's uh, postmodern warfare. While brother is proud of the power armor prowess, their main skill seems to be dying in him. Now they have, like, generic power armor. We have more than just generic power armor, though. They could probably take Mazula? I don't know. Is anyone there? Before they die. Ellen Santiago. Research production, spurn refugees, followers of the apocalypse rejected, Great Falls University, no free lunches. Okay, so they have the same focus tree then. Interesting. Alright then. Pretty good. And we're back. Feeling good? Well, okay then. That was a really fast war. Not bad. Wanna play fighters? Go and do that because he can. Nice, good stuff. Good stuff. Anything else that we really care about? Second set of skin. Uncle's burden. Oh, we should have. I should have done one earlier, but oh well. But yeah, uh, waiting orders will be good. Rebuilding America takes time, even for the Enclave. Washington Reclamation. Frontier Economy. Resource efficiency gain. Holy crap. Hurts are consumer goods, but way less cap, but better lack of resources penalties. Midwestern men. Sign us up. Firepower for our fiery people. The Darn Dakotas. Miniature circuitry. Very cool. A gift from the secretary. Ooh, 20 more units. Power armor, heart attack, breakthrough, and power armor attack in general. Wow. Hey, look at that. Nice. We got his back. Oh, we get the technology of power armor, power armor, advanced schematics. Air support, ground attack factor. Ver oh, we get Vert of Murder. You must complete a campaign to earn the secretary's favor. Hunting in the dark. The Northwest Air Command. Ooh. Oh, very nice. Economic capital fallen. Yeah, well, whatever. We're fine now. Yeah, we actually have some growth too. Very nice. Waiting new orders. I wonder what the orders are going to be. I kind of want to go to. What is this one? Unlock this campaign to pursue Uncle's directives. However, you can only do one at a time. Ooh, grant. Oh, that would be nice. Great stampede. Ooh, we go up to here instead? Oh, well, maybe that'd be fun. Journey to the North Star. Killing. A Canadarian and communist movements is perhaps the greatest dream of every enclave officer. How lucky are we to try? Uh, how many things we Oh, we're actually... A, we're positive on power armor. It's not very good power armor, but we're positive. Monoplane fighters we definitely need more of. Triplane detectors are okay. Vertebrates are obviously the best. Upgrades. Rebuilding America takes time, even for the Enclave. Special Agent Johnson, the intoned the secretary, you've done well. Uh, the last of Team October and their mutant friends are either dead or in a work camp, but we must recover and move forward. With three goals in the north we need to pursue. To the west, Washington's hydroelectric dams provide unlimited power, and the secrets of American aviation may yet lurk in Seattle. Indeed, strange signals emanate from under not snog, snog, snow and fog. There's a two-second pause and an eternity for the secretary before he continues. But the tar sands of all bear to may contain petroleum, the fuel of the wasteland, and the environmental damage won't affect American soil should you succeed. A crackle of the connection before the final option. And the Dakotas. The old missile silo may contain nuclear weapons that we fail to use against China. What better use for them against the Midwestern Brotherhood? Return those nukes to us and come home. Ultimately, agent choice is yours. You're, you are the one with the synthesized circle. Boots on the ground. Look to the west. Oh. Plan max planning factor. Daily command power game. Venture Canadian occupation. Finnish Canadian occupation first, my friends. Honey, the stampede. The Alberta Prairie lies under the control of the ranching families. Their herds will be much more efficient under our control. Oh, yes. Please. Nice. 
Let's get one for now. Ooh. Horsepower for the mine. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. You actually get more than you take away. Oh. A gift from the Secretary. We have to do that one. To help the unite the North, the Secretary will send additional vertebrates. Frontier economy. There's no need for anyone in Montana or the North to focus on manufacturing or a higher education, of course. The mine is good enough for the likes of them. Nice. I love it. Oh, just don't ask for too much. Uh, you can have one scrap. Do we have enough scrap? Oh, we have seven. That's not a lot. We need more scrap. Little Lock Demise? Who cares? Not our demise. Oh, they got a lot of guys here, huh? They do have anti tank, which is a little bit of a concern, but hopefully not too much of one. We got that stuff done. The castle's looking pretty decent. Yeah, we're looking pretty okay overall. Oh, it's a 40 day focus, so that sucks. Um, anything else? Young Clay Reborn. Yeah, we'll get there eventually, too. Good. That's very good to get. Uh, sure, why not? Almost done with all that stuff, which is awesome. Oh, yeah, we came our own uh, faction. The Montana Enclave. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Which will come in handy for now. Ooh, I can't wait to hunt the stampede. Burn him and kill him. Frontier economy? Ah, oh, I'll do one next. Alright, let's see what we can do. All oh, these couple lovers. Oh, they're actually taking us. Wow. Brave of them to do so. Especially when they force it. Oh my god, that's disastrous for them. Oh my god. Holy crap, look at that. Fighting to kill themselves. We've lost 11 versus 2,000. Almost 3,000. I kind of want to see them do that again. They got a lot of manpower, though. That's a good way to grind XP, I guess. Better rate is nice. We can do it again. Please do it again. That's a lot of fun. And watch out for spies. We need to do some suicide pills, but I'll come in time with good time. Come on, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Alright, so since we're not going to people, scientific do it, build T. How are the people? Well, you know what? Well, probably head trader. Resources market goes down. Why not? Yeah, that worked. Shock and awe. We're over the land doctrine, even though I should have not done that immediately so much yet, but whatever. Well, I guess if they're not going to attack, I guess we could attack them too, probably. Go ahead. They're all power armor. Frontier economy. No free lunches. Oh, they're doing force. Oh my god, they're doing force defense. Oh, send team October. Well, the Enclave doesn't go to heaven because we're raising hell. Oh my lord. They lost over 4,300. We've lost 17. I love it. Oh, we can't do this one. Darn it. I really want to do that one. Human resources. If you're going to do this one again, please go ahead. Why not? How many divisions do they have up to 32? Just brutal, man. But that's what they deserve. Only doing 28 damage, that's not enough. Oh, never mind, 69, 70, that's pretty good. Nice. Pulse code modifications. Beautiful. Even more manpower. Upgrade the ooh, upgrade the uplinks. We don't really need that. I mean, it's not really needed. Ooh, American soap, American courses. That'd be very good for us to do. Point advisor Eric Pelletier. You mean a bunch of Midwestern men? Oh my God! I need a body like that. Secure the region. The Secretary of the Interior kindly sent us additional soldiers. Upgrade the uplinks. Who needs a local school system when we can pipe in the finest guys from Chicago? American soil for American causes, without the Colonel's naive idealism, we can further develop this region's resources. It's quite a bit of value in the First Family's ranches. Oh, my lord. Alright, where are we at? Good. Do we really need that one? Not so much. 
Um, I don't, it doesn't really matter to me. Fighting planes and desert, that's fine. There's plenty of planes around here. Good, 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 good. I'll put it there. Ah, oh, no, more secret than meatloaf, okay. Got a lot of meatloaf, for some reason. Oh, dispatch one amigos to the nucleus. Aliens? Oh, what is this? The mounds? Port Peck? Calgary? Seattle? Huh. Okay. Gray stable, yes, you will fall. Casualties include less than 30 versus 12,500. Nice. Not good enough yet, though. Hey, yeah. Another pa node. Beautiful. I guess the next one, horsepower for the fire? Or for the mine, I guess. The Canadarians are a wild bunch of mutants, and their heroic spirit makes it difficult to properly exploit their lands. We haven't sent them to MacArthur, it'll make this easier. And we got them! God, I I'm such a slut for power armor. I love power armor so much. Uh, five... That really hurts, holy crap. Uh, Midwestern men. Look at all that, men. We make any more divisions, we'll send them over here too. Because we need to. Ooh! The only ones who matter. Oh, we'll do this one first. Ooh, actually lose a little bit of manpower. Oh, 300 po local population. Who cares then? Clean up Calgary. Should a yellow jacket exist, you shall invite it to your faction. The rest of the freaks have to go, though, so good thing you get war goals. Yellow jacket. I don't see yellow jacket. Did it die? Big grass? Mosquito? Yeah, yellow, yellow jacket's dead. Not our problem. The monsters of Nordicon are relentless. They hunt uh, uh, humans and mutants like, alike in the scorching sun and frozen snow. Although Yellowjacket remain loyal to Old Glory, the rest must be purged. The fate of the Canadarian communists we must live in a world of balance. How else could it be that the Enclave struggled for so long, but the Canada Canadian resistance flourished in the mere 200 years? It's time to save America again. To receive war goals on the communists. The goals who apes America's glory will also go, but should the Commonwealth remnants have come to an arrangement, that's going to make a deal. Ah, probably up here, huh? Lessons of the Winter War. Oh boy. Oh wow. Cleaning up the mess. Mordecai is pretty freaking huge. That's a case. You know, we're gonna do this. Though. Hmm. It's not bad over there. Gray stable. No. Nice. Got a lot of roads built up. Big grass. Big grass, South Commune, Vermilion, Wainwright. Well, they're all killing each other, as commies usually do, so. Not bad. So, can we call that in the end? Oh, cold winter blows. Secretary of the Interior, please. You gain one paper. Not bad. I'm missing, like, inf power, infantry, yeah. But I figured as much. Mm -hmm. 
Superior shades, superior tones. Interesting. Autobot analysis patrols. A little hush, commie. Don't say a word. Rail comma. Thunderbirds against New Reno, huh? Good, good, good. 100 days, not bad. Got a lot of warfare to do. Love it! Red Dare, huh? What about that one? American hearts rule American minds! We have begun settling veterans from Chicago out here, confiscating the land of the first family for real Americans under the rule. We'll tame a wilderness so immense that gives the real Americans room to breathe. Get from the secretary, of course. Uh, the greatest soldiers in America. No one can dispute that we're outnumbered by the monstrosity that pollute America, but numbers matter a little when American firepower is on our side. The eagle's wishing, or eagle's wings. The unclass success owes much to our ability to sweep the skies of hostile traders and communists. Let's double down on those efforts. Mindful that this is not war, it's pest control and hunting in the dark. The unclass technology lets us go forth and fight our enemies in the matter of time or day and night. The darkness that lays across the great land will not stop our mighty work. Oh, whoops, you're not spent that on these people. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, look at that map. I went bye-bye. That's not good. That's why we need more manpower. Uh, 20, holy crap. Let's send the scrap then. More weekly manpower would be good, that's why. More daily political power so we can call more stuff, that'd be pretty decent too. Ah, fifth research slot, yay! Defense note, more attack. Ah, another one, yay! Break on steam kits. Um, best stimulus, new systems, care package, yeah, more daily compliance would be pretty decent. 0.05% is not very much every day for game, but whatever. Good, another division, awesome. This is a lot to deal with, though. But we should be okay overall in the end. So I think we'll finish off this war off screen. It's not too long. It's just, it's just trying to grind out the enemies. We've lost four guys. This is about 800. So if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great enclave. Rest of your day.